All right. Dear Ruby, I know you are a big fan of Disney. And growing up, I used to love Snow White, Beauty and the Beast, and Cinderella. Our journey has been nothing less than a magical fairy tale. Except for an evil stepmother, our story has all the elements of a fairy tale. Obstacles of long distance and restrictions, support from loved ones, we have our own eight dwarves. Some serious moments amongst lots of laughter, and most importantly, the support and encouragement you provide me. I've been asked multiple times whether I love you. What is love? Love can mean many things to many people. Could be an affection or attraction, or admiration, or romance, or simply enjoying a home-cooked meal, etc., etc., etc. But love to me means dedication and devotion. And as we stand here today, I cannot be any more prepared to dedicate and devote the rest of my life to you. This may be the first, but not the last, of many more vows to come. Dot, dot, dot. <laughs> For the past three years, Ruby and I are very competitive people. And Ruby has always said, Nish, my family is better than yours. And I'm like, maybe, but my family is good too. So today we're going to solve it. Nish, as I sat down to write my vows, I realized I had to finally answer the question of what makes Ruby and Nish us. Who is this couple that persevered and waited two years to see each other again? And I surrounded myself with as many mementos of our three-year journey as I could. And in a flash, I was experiencing all those moments again. I went back to that fateful January 2nd, 2020, non-coffee coffee date. <laughs> and you had opened with your silly joke and ended the night with regret that had we met earlier into your trip, we would have gone on many more dates. And I remember the rush of butterflies I felt the very first time I met you in person and how quickly it transitioned from nerves to a sense of ease and happiness. The number of times I thought and said, where have you been hiding this whole time? I was so happy when you told me how much you would have loved to spend more time with me. And so much so that for the first time ever, I took the initiative to say that I'd love to stay in touch with you till your return. And little did we both know just how long of a wait that was gonna be. But during these two years of talking to you throughout the day, that becoming a new routine for us, it was really hard to be separated, but so good to get to know each other so deeply. And I always felt like I was your priority and I had your full attention. And then last year, what a whirlwind 16 days for you and I. It was truly magical. I vividly relive that most cherished memory of mine where in my sleep, you called me. <laughs> And you would look me straight in the eye and you told me that my wait was finally over, that you were walking onto your flight in Sydney to come home and that we'd meet that very night. And when I woke up, I knew that this wasn't an ordinary dream. Somehow I just knew that this was a message from the universe that you were coming back for me. And there was no better way to see you than when you walked into my house literally that night. <laughs> It was, again, such a romantic holiday tale that we wrote, and it made our first Christmas and our long overdue second date really special. Anandpaya, sukhpaya, mil gure govinda, sape kaad sabare, Jatut Pabanda A 
आनंद पाया सुख पाया मिल गुरु गोविंद सबे आज सवार तुद पावन सबे काज सवार तुद पावन क्या तू मेरे बल है खुद सब कुछ मैं सौंपया जा तेरा बंदा You guys get him sideways, and then you guys, then you guys take a photo. Huh? Ready? One, two, three. Don't grab the side. Ready, 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 ready. Oh, no! Jesus! 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 Jesus
It is my honor to introduce for the first time as a married couple, Dr. Nishant and Ruby Kajaria. Yeah. 